Hello, this is my game, Catacomb Kids, and uh, I guess I'll record some planet for you from me. Uh, let's go into the game, see what's going on. It's, uh, all these dudes are randomly generated dudes and dudettes. Georgia, Brandy, Julian, Laura, they're all going to die, or whichever one I pick. And uh, I, don't, I don't really like any of these, so I'll... We will get some more. Oh, wow, this guy's got some crazy defense. So, uh, I think I'll go with George, George Thomas. Or Thomas. Doesn't really matter. The moose. Whoops. So, yeah, this is, this is the game. It's a platformer, platformer roguelike. All levels are randomly generated. You can grab torches off the wall because it's pretty dark down here. And, uh, that's a biat. As you will see when I kill it, it's actually a biat, not a bat. Dead biat. See down, down there. So, uh, I'm gonna eat this biat. Because it's a roguelike, and that's what you do in roguelikes. You eat dead things. So, and that was a potion. When you throw potions at enemies, and generally, you find out what it is. Most of the time. There are a few exceptions. You can also drink it to find out, but that can tend to be dangerous because there's quite a few potions that are pretty deadly. That thing is regenerating now, so it's going to take forever to kill. Let's see what's over here. Hmm. I think I'll come back to there. Whoops. And of course, if you go in water, your torch will go out. Because water is wet. It's the nature of water. Uh, rocks. Just throw, throwing things in general is pretty useful. Pretty useful tactic. Because there aren't very many ranged weapons. Whoops. So those are grumbles are the first humanoid foes you'll encounter. They're not very bright because I'm not good at AI. But they will run away and use potions when they're low on health. And they dodge a lot. Like jerks. And this guy might kill me. I should, I'm running away now. Okay, okay, okay. He's regenerating still. Ah! And he killed me. And that's generally how the game goes. You die. A lot. So that's the single player. And there's multiple floors. I, I guess I'll show you. See if I can get to the next floor. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. And uh. Let's see. Whoops. That's it. I'm just. As you go deeper, of course, things get harder. Let's see if I can find the orb of leveling. You don't get experience in this game or anything. You um, on each on each floor there is an orb of leveling which you must locate in order to level. There it is. Speak of the devil. So this guy's in my way. I'm playing with an Xbox controller, by the way, because kind of awkward to play on keyboard since there's so many buttons. Buttons! So many buttons! So, when you level up you get two points to distribute amongst your stats. And uh, I think I need more strength. I can be a little faster too. So... And yes, you can eat the humanoids too, the grumbles and loot them. He's crap is worse than mine. See, when you loot, this little thing comes up and you choose whether you want to loot from them. But, uh, let's see, where am I? The, the exit is usually, or, well, it should be, the way I've written the level generation, should be 
in the room furthest away from the room you start in. So it's looking like that'll be up and to the left. Ah, that guy. I was hoping he wouldn't turn around. And you can uh, crouch and jump to jump higher. It's normal. Let's crouch jump, just because. Uh, really hard to make platforming always work out with procedurally generated levels a lot of difficult jumps and stuff so I've tried to minimize that by making the char characters as mobile as possible with the rolling rolling and jumping will jump you higher too and you can do it out to get out of alcoves like that and stuff whereas you wouldn't just be able to jump jump out since there's a ceiling above you let's see what this potion is Oh, see, it didn't identify that time, so. Well, I mean, I, I know what it probably is, because there's only a few potions that don't identify when you throw them at, at enemies, but I won't spoil it. And uh, you can see as I'm eating, there's little icons appearing down there, and down to the uh, left. And uh, when that gets to five, depending on what things you've eaten, you'll get a bonus or a detriment. I haven't really coded all those in yet, though. Let's see. And now I'm gorged because I ate too much. And that means I move slower, jump lower, and when I, when I land, there's a little rumbly effect. See? That's pretty neat. Uh, there's the exit, but I don't want to go through the exit yet. Because I haven't leveled yet. Got to find a level orb. Uh oh, oh, oh! There's a, a pool of fish on us, which are piranha fish. Did I just like fish on a better? Uh, let's drink this potion. See what it does. That was a poison potion, so that wasn't very bright of me. Clear potion. Let's see what this does. That did nothing. So. Must have changed something that that was unaffectable or something. Like if you drink a uh, health potion while you're already at full health, then nothing will happen, and it won't tell you what it did. Same thing for mana potion. So, oh, teleport trap. Uh, let's see, get some more springs. Mm. Oop. Eat this thing. And let's see what's in this room before we go on. Oh. It's a meeting room. And this fancy chest. Chain mail of heat and of light. Oh my. You can see when I picked that up my got a little lighter around me. That guy's dumb because he's standing in a poison. These mushrooms give off poison gas, but they also trampoline you. Another good way to get around. So. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, this is the uh, status screen, so there's a lot of stuff here. You can see your stats on the left side, your status effects on the right side. I'm, I don't really have any right now. I'm, I'm full happy healthy it is a uh, level up screen so if you choose not to spend any points when you level up you can come here later and distribute them and uh, these are where your spells and traits and special skills will go if you learn any do I have a sp no, I don't have a spell book you have to find spell books to learn spells so apparently this character hates swords so if I were to find a sword I wouldn't be able to use it because he'd refuse to so I'd have to find some way to get rid of that before I'm able to use swords and different characters have different different traits to start out with that you can get rid of or improve upon like bad swimmers they, they, they sink in water and drown really quickly and there's also people with, with good perks to start with like good with swords where they start with um, special skills while wielding swords that uh, normally you'd have to learn separately 
And this is this is the equipment screen. I just added this. There isn't. I haven't really added the item descriptions yet. So it's just an axe, but it tells you how they affect your stats. So this armor improves my strength. This axe improves my defense. Seems like it should be the other way around, but whatever. And so yeah, and up top you can see my my currently equipped items. And so let's go to the next floor. Ocean. Well, there's the exit right there. Normally they're further away. Sometimes the level generation gets kind of tangled up, though. Clear potion. This is, this is... Did I drink this? Yeah, I drank this before, and it didn't do anything, so... I'm assuming it was a mana potion. Not sure what the blue one does. Oh, well, there's a lot of dudes in there. I don't think I'll... I don't think I'll go in there. Could be dangerous. There's another another one of those rooms. Let me see if I can sneak in and get this. Whoa. Look at this chest. Close the door. A sharp trident. That seems like an improvement. I've tried to make the items not binarily better. Like either better or worse and and you know it's it's kind of always gonna be a trade off, so this axe has higher defense, and defense is a really important stat. Because if you don't have any defense, you can just get one or two shotted. But um, I like being strong. I like being able to kill things. Because I'm a terrible person. So I'm going to take the trident. Wow, there's a lot of those rooms with the tables in them. Let's see. Oh, sweet. Thank you, slime, for distracting them. And now I throw that potion and find out it is a potion of ice. There we go. I'm gonna kill you with my strengthy trident. See what's in this chest. And there. And now I got a spell book so I can learn some spells. I like chain lightning. Oh crap, I don't have any magic. Yeah, your mana. <coughs> your magic is uh, like your mana pool is determined by your magic and intelligence stats. And since mine are both really low, I don't have any mana. But I can learn push and use that. It's a non-damaging spell just to throw enemies around. And uh, it can also counter spells and, and uh, items thrown at you by blasting them back at, the, at whoever threw them at you in the first place. So, okay, there's the orb leveling. And I think I'll remedy my magiclessness right now. See if I can. So, oh, that didn't help. Whoa. Stupid teleport trap. Whoa. Almost got killed by that spike trap in the ceiling there. Yeah, intelligence. Your intelligence stat also makes traps more visible. Since I'm kind of dumb right now, I can't see traps very well. Very close. Sweet. And let's see. No. Now that I got the orb of leveling, I guess I'll go to the next level. Let's see. Okay, that was stupid. Hmm. Nothing up there. And uh, so yeah, this is this is my game. This is what I've been working on. It's a platformer roguelike. See, and um, I don't want to go on for too long. This is already kind of longer than I was intending. Yeah, this is an inner level event, which is sometimes between floors you can find these small rooms with stuff in them. I haven't. This a shop should go here, but I haven't put it in yet. So I've got to re-add that, and there would be a shopkeeper right here normally, and he'd keep his wares down here behind a locked door, and uh, they're pretty tough, so if you want to steal from them, good luck. And let's see what's next.
Um, let's see, am I missing anything? Oh well, frame rate. It's because I'm recording. Normally, normally it runs pretty smoothly, but frame rate gets pretty bad when when I'm recording. So yeah, actually, I, I think I'll stop right here, cause mm -hmm. cause of reasons. Because reasons. Yeah, I think that's good enough. All right, so... Oh, wait. Let me show you this guy. That is a Grumble Fire Warrior. Oh, wow. That's a spike, spike pit down there. Up, oh, up. Oh, oh, he fell on the spikes. Ha ha. Loser. Spikes don't... Ah, crap. Spikes don't kill you outright, but they do a lot of damage. And let's see. Is there anyone in here? potion you had. Haste. Haste is pretty good. Venomous robe of health. I don't want that. Let's see. Yeah, Grumble Fire Warriors, they, um, they're Grumbles that are immune to fire attacks and they have a chance of setting you on fire when they attack you. They're good to kill though because then you can get their fire weapons and set other things on fire. Wow, this haste is rocketing me around so yeah like I said I think I'll end it here that was convenient